my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today we celebrate the feast of saint cyril of alexandria bishop confessor and doctor of the church cyril was born in alexandria in egypt in the year 370 as a young boy his uncle theophilus the patriarch sent him to the egyptian monks in order to learn about the ascetical life after learning about the ascetic way of life in the year 403 he even accompanied saint chrysostom in egypt nine years later when theophilus died at the age of 36 cyril took over his place he was with full of life and enthusiasm in order to promote god's work he was a great learner and he was with full of wisdom he made use all his wisdom and knowledge in order to promote the christian faith all throughout his life after taking up the in charge of his companions he took two drastic measures in order to make the church alive he stopped the novatian churches which were promoting false teachings of that particular sect in the year 428 when nestorius of antioch became the patriarch of constantinople he started teaching the heretical ideas of the antiochian school in order to counter those ideas of the antiochian school he started teaching theotokos theotokos means mother of god which was one of the most important teachings in the catholic church because of his great knowledge and wisdom pope saint celestine 1 made him to be the in charge of the teachings of the catholic church cyril took up the initiative in order to make the counter arguments against the teachings of nestorius later in the year 431 in the council of ephesus nestorius was excommunicated by the teachings of saint cyril of alexandria by coining the term theotokos mary as the mother of god he established jesus as god to nature divine and human and mary as the mother of god saint cyril was a great scholar when church was undergoing great turmoil against nestorianism and other heretical teachings he was a great man of wisdom and knowledge and he always promoted and fought against all the heresies which were prevalent at that time he was declared as a doctor of the church in the year 1882 as we celebrate the feast of this great saint may his life inspire each of us so that we may use our talents and abilities in order to promote the good news of the lord everywhere